All right, guys, in this example, I want to show us how to reflect a triangle over a line, a given line. Um, for this, I'm actually only going to do part of it. I'm going to do one vertex of the triangle and leave the rest to you as an exercise. Um, but I think you'll see exactly how this works. So the first thing we need is a triangle and a line, right? So you, in this problem, you're given a triangle and a line. So I'm just going to pick any triangle here. And I'm going to make everything large enough so that we can see what's happening. All right. And we're going to name these vertices a little bit. So let's call this one A, B, and C. Now we need a line to reflect over. Okay. So I'm going to make this line. Uh, my straight edge is actually not the longest straight edge you've ever seen in your life. But here's a line L. All right, and we want to reflect this entire triangle over the line. It's gonna be a mirror image over the line. It's gonna be the same distance away from the line, but it's gonna be flipped over and reflected over the line, okay? So this is our goal. Now, I'm gonna do this, uh, I'm just gonna move one vertex. So I'm gonna move the vertex C, and then I'll let you guys think about how to finish and move the other two vertices, and obviously you'll have to connect them together, right? So what we're gonna do, we need our compass. So I'm gonna open the compass so that it is open wider. I'm, I'm moving C, remember? It's gotta be open wider than the distance from C to the line. So I'm gonna open it quite a bit more than it was, okay? All right, it's wider. Now, from here, what I, it's, and it's got to be at least, you know, this much wide, a little bit wider, and you'll see why in a second. So what do you do now is you put the needle at C, and you make a swipe of an arc. You actually only need, so you can't really see what I'm doing here, but I'm, I swiped just the swipes where it crosses the line L, the intersection points, okay? If I completed this, this, this would make a beautiful arc of a circle, right? But I don't, we actually don't need that because at this point, don't squeeze, okay? Don't squeeze at this point. What you do now is with the same exact setting, all right, you put the needle on each end of this. Um, so I'm, I'm being pretty dramatic about the don't squeeze. Actually, it's not as important here, um, but still don't squeeze because sometimes um, it matters and sometimes it doesn't. But what I've done now, I'm putting the needle here, okay? And I'm giving an arc a, a swipe of an arc. I'm using the same radius. All right. You can experiment with a different radius if you want. Um, actually, you know, I really don't recommend that you do that because actually we're going to be done since we didn't squeeze. Okay. Um, I'll talk about when I'm done with this exactly what you have to do otherwise. But um, here we go. Swipe there. All right. What, what we've made now is we've made a point. Okay. Here, which when we connect it, when we connect it, I'm going to draw this all the way through this connecting line to, to say so that we can think about what would happen if I did accidentally squeeze or stretch my compass out. Um, but this line is perpendicular. OK, and because I didn't squeeze, actually, these are equal length. So this is exactly the point that I want. But what if I squeeze? OK, so let's make sure let's make sure that it's truly equal length. So what am I going to do? I'm going to now put the needle at this intersection point, okay, at the intersection point. By the way, this intersection point is the midpoint of the original two tick marks that we made, right? Because we, we really just uh, constructed a perpendicular bisector, but the first step was to construct the segment that we wanted to bisect in the first place. So it's kind of it's, it's kind of cool the way this works, right? So you now you put the needle here and you change the opening. So in this case, I have to make mine smaller. Change the opening so that you match up with C. All right, so I've done it. You can make a little mark here, and then you just flip it over to the other side. Okay, keep the needle right on that point, and then you swipe. And so mine goes right through the same point. If I had squeezed uh, at this point, right, uh, this tick mark would not go through my old one, right? I'm moving everything around here, sorry. So it would not have gone through my old one. Um, but this new mark, this would be the one. So that would be the place to put the point. So if you squeeze at, the, at that point when I was going crazy saying not to squeeze, if you accidentally squeeze, it's not the end of the world, but you can find out exactly where this point C prime should be. It's got to be on the perpendicular, right? Um, it's got to be the same distance away. And so we just check that. You can check that with your compass. And if you're wrong, you can move it, right? So you can do a little maneuvering. Um, now, to finish off the triangle, you guys are going to move B 
and you're going to move A, and then you can complete this thing out and draw the triangle, which is the result of reflecting the given triangle over the line L.